Hey guys, Jesse here, playing the Dark Side Detective, starring Detective Francis McQueen. Okay, so we have the last case, Dawn of the Dead. Case summary: The chief summoned us all to the debriefing room about our code red citywide issue. Okay, Dawn of the Dead. So, Chief's colleagues, everyone here good, there are riots all over the city, so it's all hands on deck, okay? That means you too, McLean, time to do some real police work. You know, McKing is a jackass. And Detective McQueen says, are you sure your iffy stomach is able for it? Because he had the, you know, the poop thing a couple of episodes ago. And McKing is burned. Chief Scully, you too, stop it. Officer, Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's been happening out there. Okay, so this guy is wounded, you see. And thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. Oh crap, we got zombies. Chief Scully says we don't know what's causing the behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there, and good luck. Yep, we got zombies. Squad dismissed. Okay, so... Let's just take a preliminary... The whiteboard says, according to this, the entire city is in a state of panic. Arrests, hospitalizations, collateral damage, and purchase of spooky soundtracks are all up. Yeah. Television. Dick Brickman. Dick Brickman here reporting live from City Hall, where I, Dick Brickman, am slowly being approached by a hungry looking politician. Okay, are you up to date with the latest fashion trends? Old moldy clothes are in while looking alive is out. Interesting, you see? Local cat saves firemen from tree. Also, yeah. Property prices soar as previous owners return, resulting in evictions across the city. Oh, return from the dead, probably. McBurger reports spikes in requests for brain meat. Yeah. Interesting. City Hall productivity levels reach record high. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Politician, all reports suggest that the city is in a state of panic. Can I get a response? You see this guy? Zombie. And the politician says, Rrr. Same old party line. When will these politicians leave an up direct? Oh yeah. You see? Zombies. Okay, so we got Chief Scully. Sorry, McQueen, I know this isn't your usual kind of case, but I need everybody out on the streets for this. No problem, Chief. Happy to help. And Murakami says, how is your arm? I'll leave, thanks. Perp tried to bite me, but I got away. Crazy, huh? Oh, co oh crap. This guy is going zombie. The bulletin board says my name is next to the museum, a shop downtown, and the old mafia mansion. Looks like it's going to be a busy day. And since it's dawn of the dead, I'm guessing the Mafia Mansion is where we need to go. But first the museum and a shop downtown. What is this new detective? Our first day on the job and we get to tackle a riot. How exciting. Ten bucks said the newbie doesn't make it through the day. The king is, you know, nasty. Hey. I'll take that, Ben McKing. You'll do fine, detective. Actually, what's your name? Fish. Fresh fish. What? What? And McKing says, I love a good Ryan. Nothing makes me happier than to get some baton swinging practice in. Yeah, after you poop. Better get duly and hit the road. 
Okay, so as I said, probably we need to go here, but first we're going to investigate these two locations. So let's just go first to the museum, then Chinatown, then mansion. Why is the door smashed in? Because zombies do it. Because zombies. Looks like a break-in. Looters? Zombies. Maybe, but they tend to go for televisions, not tapestries. Let's check it out. Okay, so we got uh, posters here. We got the squad car. We got Dooley. If we go to the squad, I think our car is old enough to be in exhibition here. Yeah, probably. And Dooley. I don't like museums. They're just graveyards for old stuff. You know, get some, some Dooley knowledge. Uh, the posters. Seems there is an Egyptian theme display in at the moment. Who is those Egyptians were big? These pictures aren't to scale. Okay. I knew that. Yeah, newly knew that. Yeah, I mean duly. Let's go inside. And we got uh, a dinosaur, you see? This is a dinosaur. An impressive specimen. There seems to be something stuck in here, but it's too far for me to reach. Oh, there's something, something stuck? So we're gonna need like like a some sort of I don't know a broom or something like that to get in time. What else do we have? Let's see. After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. What? Presumed cause of death is drowning. Uh, as his tiny arms wouldn't have been great for swimming to the mainland. Whoa, the team here must be top of the field. Yeah, right. Okay, so we need to find a like a stick or a broom or something like that in order to get the thing that's stuck here. Um, let's just go over here. We got a couple of uh, skeletons, tall skeletons. This is what a plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think it may be what the human body was modeled on. Fascinating, says Dooley. And McQueen is just a, a short skeleton. An ape, probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. Hmm. Prehistoric curiosity cabinet. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Okay, so we got the, the, the locked cabinet, and we got the dino with the thing over there. And we got a mummy. What on earth? That looks like a mummy? And the mummy says, Rrr. Okay, so, what? let's see, boy oh boy, these Egyptians really knew how to... Wait, I know this one. Uh, that's statue though, right, detective? Yeah. Smash cabinet. Looks like some jewelry is missing. Okay, so probably we get some amulet of some sort that caused the dead to rise or something like that. You see the gem of Osiris. Yeah, the guardian of the underworld. Yeah. Osiris, the Egyptian death god. I can't help but think that's tied in with what's going on across the city. Yep. Okay, and we got a scepter that maybe we can use. A scepter. A scepter? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, who are we talking about? Okay, we got the scepter. Maybe we can use this thing with the dino. Let's check the sarcophagus. This must be where that mummy came from. And the mummy says... E exactly. I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of that sarcophagus. I better look for a way to lure it back in there. Let's see the old stone tablet. You have to be pretty sick to try swallowing, uh, swallowing that medicine. Yeah. Maybe a giant, right? Okay, so we need to lure this thing here in order to close it. Maybe with some clothes, I don't know. Okay, let's try to use this thing. An old Egyptian rod. Look, detective, it looks like a fancy fire poker. Okay. Can I use this with the dino? I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever. Uh, yep, we did it. 
bird bones. That must have been Tony Rex's last meal. Tony? The T has to stand for something. Okay, we got the bird bones. Some delicate bird bones. I'm guessing this could be used for uh, our divination. Let's see if we can use this thing. Here, no. Oh, this might work as a makeshift lot picking kit. A very fragile kit. Oh, <laughs> that was pure luck. Maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, I'll be able to open the cabinet. Okay, so maybe we use this. No, that's not it. This one. There we go. And now we need to use this one. <clears throat> nice. And this one. Um. Oh yeah, this one. And this one. That seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. And we got a brain jar. A jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. You received the brain jar. Small jars. Eye of Newt. There is an old note in the jars. Borrowing for soup will return ASAP. Mixed jars. A collection of earwax gathered from the museum's death. Bleh. It is, seems to be filled with wasps, living angry wasps. Use contact lenses. Urine sample found on site. Someone peered it. Some bad juju. Don't touch the bad juju. Contains a drawing of some gem. I guess someone took the gem. Stuff, uh, stuff full of old invoices. Okay, well, let's try this. What happens if we take the brain thing? The donated brain of one Shen Dooley. What? Dooley? Never used. It wasn't even his idea to donate the brain. Hmm. Sorry, pickled brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. There's a case closed pawn in here somewhere, but there's just no time. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's get to the next crime scene. Okay, so the museum appears to be okay now. We're going to Chinatown. This is where you got McNugget's retirement urn. Oh, oh okay. What a fun party. We spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean? Yeah, no, monsters do. Monsters. We got a shop sign. A shop sign that says, Back alley mystic shops are never run by a McGillicuddy or Sanchez, are they? Uh, and duly, I wonder if I can get some other shopping in. Shut up. Some other shopping in while I'm here. The trash. There's a stringless tennis racket in here. You received broken racket. Good, we got some stuff. Okay, we're going inside. Are those paws? Nah, they couldn't be. Help, I'm trapped. Get rid of them. Mr. Wang. See? Okay, so we undead trinkets. Strange box. Large trunk. Cash register. Okay, the shopkeeper is here. Not coming out until those things are gone. We got a tapestry that says that's pretty, yeah. You should buy it, treat yourself. Now, now's the time for shopping. Carpet diem, that's what I say. That's not, never mind. Okay, the large trunk, a large trunk with a sturdy lock. It's empty inside. Okay, so the plan is to get the undead trinkets to go here. Let's see the strange box, the strange box, Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Okay. A pile of books. Various books in positive living. Feng Shui and harnessing the enemy of the secret hell beast. The energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. Wait, what? Yeah, you, you, sometimes you need to harness the energy of the secret hell beast. 
boy, oh boy, the stuff here uh, these people believe in, huh? Yeah. A lantern. And McQueen says, nice lanterns. A shop like this runs on ambience. 80% of all sales are because customers can't see what they are buying. Uh, yeah. So, seems, seems okay, you know. Uh, healing crystals. Crystals used for some form of, form of healing, I guess. Oh, this is sharp. Mm, that might be useful. You receive healing crystals. Can we combine these things? No. Okay, we got a sharp healing crystal and we got a broken racket. A lucky cat. Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. Probably. We got a dream catcher used for trapping nightmares. Might be useful in this nightmare. It's a dream catcher and we're going to combine it with this thing. The rope is too tight. I need to loosen it up somehow. With this, I can use the sharp edges to cut, uh, to cut the dream catcher up. You receive item, string, and we combine this, it's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? You receive item, net, and now we can catch these things, probably. Nice lanterns. Yeah, I know, I know. What else do we have? We got a skull. Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous shop owner. Uh, her will stipulated, I keep it on display at all times. Yeah, sometimes people do. Uh, okay, so what happened? Uh, let me see the undead trinkets. What the hell? Monkey paws all come to came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. I hope the riot citywide aren't all undead related. Less worry, more scurry. Get rid of them. Okay, we're gonna use this thing with this. One careful swipe and okay, I've caught them all. You receive item monkey paws. Okay, we got the monkey paws. We're gonna put them in the large trunk. That's this area here, yeah, locked down. Nice pump. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I got to escape. You guys, they couldn't send some other cops? Hey, shut up, Wang. The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. Hello again, Wang. Wang, who's Wang? My name is uh, Detective McQueen. Um, looks like we got the wrong guy. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back. They all started moving. The body out back? Yeah, that's exactly what I said, McQueen. I never said that. You've got no proof. Dooley, you heard him? Hey, what's happening? I turned, I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. Uh, all this started not long after my store was robbed last night. Oh. Okay, we found those gremlins in the end, Wang. Not in my shop, you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. I could have sold them him something that doesn't exist. I couldn't have sold him uh, something that doesn't exist. Wink. You just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. Ugh. Tell me more about the robbery, bro. So last night some goons floated in, they smashed the place up and took some entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Floated in. Yep, floated in in a green, in a green haze. That is weird. That sounds like dark ciders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what that dark siders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Yes, we do. Okay, so we go to the mansion. We have reports of a break-in at the Don's Old Mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we'd better things to focus on than a derelict building. No, we don't, do we? We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belonged to a Mafia Dome. For all we know, there is a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. Okay, so we got the sea over here. I wonder where Nigel ever swam off to. Nigel was the monsters, you know? The monster we saw in like a previous episode. Nice try, detective, but I'm not giving up his location to a government stooge. 
Duly, I help him escape. And you are a government... Didn't even try, detective. My guard is up. UPP. Up. <laughs> we have some sand castles. Was that a good use of police resources and time? No. Was it fun? Yes. So oh, maybe they, they just made this sand castles. We got palm trees. He must have been doing pretty well for himself to have a beachside house with palm trees. Maybe crime does pay after all. Hmm. We got the moon. Have you ever noticed that the moon is always full in Twin Lakes? It's cheaper to reuse assets, I guess. It is. We got gargoyles. These things remind me of some of the people we've met on our cases. Yes. Dooley says you said Don owned this place like Mafia Don? Yep, one of the most feared men in the country. Al Cafoni. He terrorized people for all sorts of things, but we could never prove any of it. Any resemblance to persons living or dead are purely coincident. What got him in the end? Tax evasion. He swerved to avoid a truck of thumb tax and we got him on dangerous driving charges. Oh. He died in prison, and this place has never has been condemned ever since. And the gate sign says it says stay out. Luckily, the law doesn't apply to us. Duly, the law apply does applies to us, just not in this particular case. Approach mansion, mansion. So what kind of stuff did they done do? You name it, he did it. Racketeering, money laundering, bootlegging, and more. And more, as if making tennis rackets, washing money, and forcing people to wear boots wasn't bad enough. Okay, let's just go to the mansion. Okay, here we are in the mansion. We got police tape. We got a window. We got some signs. We had strange equipment. This must belong to whoever is in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I'd better power it down for now. You receive an item, a battery. Okay, we got a battery, that's good. Strange equipment, it doesn't do anything since I removed the battery. Uh, the police tape. A broken line of, pol a line of police tape. Looks like somebody has gotten inside. Yeah, and the window. These ported windows make it hard to see much inside. What about this sign that says condemned sign? I don't see why it's condemned. Looks like a perfectly fine sign to me. That's weird. What about the... Uh, there's this thing here. But can we go around? No. What Dooley has to say. Let's get inside, detective. What's the worst that can happen? Well, a lot, bro. A lot. Okay, we're inside. You got a zombie. Detective McQueen, sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. And the zombie butler says brains. That's not right. And there's a trapped person in here that says, is there somebody in there? Yes, are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Right. Hold on, we'll do something. Okay, so we get the chandelier. No, oh, that's a large chandelier. Jeez, if that dropped on somebody, it really hurt. Yes, I know. And we got some rope here. This seems to be the rope that holds the chandelier in place. Seems to be stuck. We got a side table. Uh, what a potentially conveniently located table. Okay. The painting. Don Cafoni. That's one mean looking monster. He was also mean acting. Do you think those two facts are related? Oh. The battery is a battery taken from the strange equipment outside. I can't use the battery here, right? On the rope or something? No. Side table, couch. A surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. The locked door. We're working on it. Roar, yes. We're gonna go to the kitchen, see if we can find something here. What do we have? We got a, an up and cupboard, a very supplies including candles, I think I'll take one. That's good, we got the candle. 
I can't open this one, I wonder what treasures are inside, not enough to force it open, however. Okay. That liquid is so dark and stinky, I wouldn't put my hand in there for any reward. Okay, so this the, the sink is kind of stinky. Cutlery drawer, it has no knife, scissors, or any other sharp objects. What a convenient inconvenience. Mm, the oven, there are remains of a long forgotten roast chicken in here. It is not edible, duly. Sigh. Okay, and the fridge, what a sting, somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything in there I can eat? Duly, it's all rotten. But I'm some hungry, you made things sound urgent, so I skipped second breakfast. Second breakfast? What the hell are you, like a hobbit man? This is urgent, duly. Fine, but after all this, you're buying me pancakes. Yeah. Okay, so pots. We could use these at the Blood Wolf camp. Somebody ruined our pots by melting marshmallows all over them. What? Somebody? What? The, those monsters? Yeah, it was McQueen, you know. It was McQueen. Wait a cup. Somebody has helped clean this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking their sponge. Steel wool. Okay, we got steel wool, and we got the battery, and we got the candle. So what happens if we combine these two? No, and we combine these two. Blood Wolf trick. Combine the battery with Steel Wolf to make a fire starter. Yes, exactly. Little Emily taught me that. That's plausible. You retrieve the fire starter and we do this. If I light this while it's still in my pocket, I'd burn my coat. My precious, precious coat. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Oh, the fire is over there. And okay, let's just go here. We're gonna put the candle here, put the candle here, I just need this to magically float, no? That's odd, I guess I'd best try something else. Okay, but you know, what we're going to do is we're gonna put the candle there, let's just leave this here, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna use this thing here in the candle, no, not in the candle. Come on. Yeah, it should be able to burn through the rope in a suitable, slow and dramatic fashion. Rawr. And done. It's uh, safe to come out there. Is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? Hello. Raxa? You guys, I owe you big time. What were you doing here? Actually, for uh, no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. And everything is just burning now, you see? So, hello Rexen. Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? I am, thanks to you guys. Uh, what's with the getup? Like, like a Ghostbusters, you see? I'm an inspector now. Since I kept finding myself on at weird going zones, I licensed myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm here last night, so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is this your equipment? It is. It is a spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. But I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the Don. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. So what did the what did the readings say? That's out. The battery is missing. Whistles innocently. Thankfully, there is a printout inside it. Give me a second while I open it up. Whoa, lots of spook troll readings. Whoever, whatever was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. Duly, I just figured it out. The Darksiders and looking for something at the dawn's house. They are looking for the dawn. But you say he was dead? Yeah, but Darksiders. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. 
they're trying to resurrect him. Whoa, detective. What an amazing coincidence that every place the chief sent us was tied in so tightly with what was really going on. If we had been sent to even one different location, you may never have pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard, and fast. We can't let him return. You should probably leave too, Raxa. Because of that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Probably start from being inside. Bad for the mind. Make sure to eat something when you leave. Which you should do. For food, not fire. <clears throat> I think that went smoothly. Yeah, it did. And now we go to the graveyard. Okay, so here we are at the graveyard. We got the stars. We can see see that constellation, detective? That's called stars. Eh? Weird. We are using this telescope. I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. Is what I fear. The place is swarming with zombies. Uh, these must be the dark siders we've heard about. They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who, though. Look, Dooley, over there. There's some bad mumbo jumbo happening at the crib. Yeah, I saw the mumbo jumbo. We need to stop them from bringing the dumb back. So, we go down to the graveyard. Okay, Dooley, let's go. Rawr, rawr, rawr. We got the zombies, too. No doubt about it, they're zombies are right. Looks like we're not getting in that way. Okay, the zombie, I hope that gates holds. They're far too eager a welcoming point. We got a lot of zombies here. We got a church bell, bell tower. Hey bros, I need help. I need help. I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe here. This is Pastor Farley. There's somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. What do we have here? We got zombies, we got the church. We're gonna move right. Okay, so we got the dumpster. Look in dumpster. We got a box, oil can, bags. This just a bag full of magic eight balls. What do they say? Ask again later. Mm, but I want to know. It appears to be a box of stew. Is it warm? Could no duty. You could not eat the old box stew. All can. I could use that to all the wheels, but I can't quite reach it. Okay, Dooley. What a load of rubbish. Oh look, I need one of those for my house. Um. Okay, we're gonna push the dumpster. If we can get this into position, I can get over the wall. Oh, it's stuck. The wheel seems to be rusted. Street light. Here's one for you, Dooley. How many cups does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so not our concern. Also, street lights fall under the city maintenance department and know the police. I thought you know that, detective. What a jackass. Water tower. A water tower in a graveyard. Odd. That's for low budget holy tower. Uh, uh, okay, no, that's for low budget holy water. The priest can bless it after a heavy rain. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, how do I. A box of stew. I, I think Dooley should, you know, like. Oh, there's a plank. That plank may be useful. Nope, it's infested with termites. Not putting that in my pocket. Can we use that? do we have? Anything here? Oh, I want to... I want to make Dooley... Oh! Manhole! Covered by the massive dumpster. Okay, so we gotta move this and then use the manhole, but... I can't reach the thing. Let's see, we need to find something. Stop that. Mm. Street light. 
No, I already said that. Broken railing. The wall is too high to, uh, to jump over. Dooley, give me a boost. I would detect it, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. We're going to have to find another way. Crap. Mm. Something weird here. Okay, so let's just... This closes. This is Dooley. So we got a bag, nothing in the bag, we got a box, and we got the old can, nothing here, we got the plank, infested with termites, and duly. Okay, let's just move here. Maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up to this place. Might need this nightstick to keep the welcoming party at bay. Oh, we got something. A nightstick. Good. We got the thing. We got the thing. Okay, we're gonna use this thing to get the oil can. I can't reach it, but I can't quite hook it. I need something with a better grip. What the f Okay. Can I use this thing? No. And with the plank. I think I'll try something else. No. Box. Plank. Bag. No. Dooley? What happens with Dooley? Okay. Let's see what happens if I try this. Crap. Okay, squad car. Zombies. We can't leave. We can't do anything. What about the zombies? Get back, you monsters. Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Rawr. Its hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to be care. He might need another way. We might need another way in. Oh, we got a zombie arm. Good. Okay, we're gonna use the zombie arm now. Zombie arm to get the oil can. Okay, in position. Now to squeeze this muscle and got it. That was very, you know, convoluted. We gotta use this. Wheels all up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Okay, good. So maybe we can go over the wall. You go through the sewers. Hopefully that way one of us can save those people and stop the dome from being brought back. Okay, good. Have I mentioned that I don't like ton... Not the time, buddy. The city needs us. I know. Hey, detective. Yeah? Be careful. You too, buddy. You too. Okay, so... Ladder? No, Dooley's never go back. It's the family motto that killed my grandfather when she, he accidentally drove his car onto those, those train tracks. Yeah. That way it's blocked off by a large gate. What secrets are you hiding, Gate? When all of this is done, I'm going to launch an investigation into you. I'll call it Gate Gate. Now, Dub, this is a secret bolt hole for government informants. We get the poop here, the pipes. This is how the government pumps di dihydrogen monoxide into our homes. Monsters. That's weird. Okay, we got a sewer gator. Hey, little guy, what are you doing down here? I'm watching mass stories. Let me be. The gator in the sewers. Watching TV? Well, that story checks out to me. Enjoy, mister. Just keep an eye out for cannibals. A TV show on urban legends. What nonsense. Okay, so the gator was just watching TV, so we keep moving. And uh, we got Pennywise over here. As you see, we got the paper boat. And we got the evil clown. That boat's not the only thing floating down here. No, we all float down here. Power box, the box holds all the power in the city, electrical and political. Evil clown, 
pound smart. You know, because it's not penny wise, it's pound smart. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna say hello? One second there, guy. What's the clown doing down here? This is in the circles. Uh, I keep balloons to wayward kids. Do you know? And there's a cotton candy and rides and all sorts of uh, surprises down here. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? Mm. I see no harm in any of this. Good on you for making sure those loves kids aren't frightened. No thanks. As you were. You too? This is weird. Freaking pound smart. Okay, we got some workers here. Work sign that says, Jen's interesting sign you have here. Uh, thanks. Where are you working? Uh, we're repairing the power lines. You've noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently? We're going to fix that. That sure is great. Great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Oh, uh, what? I see your sign. That's an invertel, inverted eye. You guys are eye masons. Refrigerate. What? No, the other one. Freeze. I mean, freeze. This is why so many of my TV dinners spoil. Drop your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I have places to be. Gary Plinkman. <laughs> what are you talking? We're just here to fix. Resist the arrest, is it? I guess you gotta listen to officer and take rest of the day off, Tyrese. Sure, be nice to get home to the family early for a change. You're a dumbass, Dooley. We got a kangoo hammer. Not jackhammer, kangoo hammer with construction parts. I'll confiscate this so they can return to whatever shady business they were at. You received the kangoo hammer. Devilish debris from a cunning foe. Right, the sign. Those crooks left their sinister sign behind. Okay, we're going right. We got a sewer gate. If only there was a way past it. Let's use this sink. When life gives you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer. Then send the lemons carcasses back to carcasses back to life so it knows not to mess with you. <laughs> Meanwhile. Okay, we are you know over here there's a shed. Grave McGave. Crushed by Rider's block. Drawn in a stock overflow. Tracy McCabra. Paul Burrow Conway painted himself into a corner. Ben Haunty. Nobody heard what happened to him. Eaten alive by bugs. Chris Goulstone. There's a crypt over here and a shed. Smithy. We've been breached. Charge. Wait. Frankie, I do apologize. I thought you were the, uh, the hunt come to munch on my brain for military secrets. But I can tell you're a Yankee boy. It's in the stands, not rigid enough. Shoulders like melted ice cream on a sunny Sunday morning. Oh. Okay, we got the gas mask. This seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off, old boy. Those hands outside smell dreadful. That mask is my only protection. We got an entrenching shovel. I'm afraid you can't have that old chap. I need my it to bash zombie Fritz. Should he try to enter my bunker? Helmet. That's a nice helmet. It's poor form to comment on another man's piece, old chap. And the boots. Boots in my size. Like them, old chap. They're yours. Belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Thanks. Wait a second. These are normal boots. They've got metal sockets in them. Uh, he had mechanical legs. Need special shoes that would click on. That's why we, I've got no use for them. How generous. We got the boots. So, the great nigger. Can I help you, old bean? Who are you? Brigadier Reginald Smith. Smithy for my friends. Of course, I have no friends. No time for friends in the army, huh? Surely you're not still in the army. My dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here? Blimey. I don't jolly well know. Crash here as a young man. Took a job as the great di grave digger as I wasn't a citizen. All happened some time ago, I should imagine. Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. This is just a scratch. 
You should have seen the hunt when we were done with them. You're a military man. Can you help uh, gear me up for the fight? Helping with war efforts? Sounds piffy. I'll still have my military kit. Let's see, there's my mess tin, but things seem messy enough here already. A water bottle, but it's been shut up. A ground sheet. A sheet would probably be more use if it hasn't been ground up. It's not looking go uh, good, old chap. I'll tell you what. Take my gas mask. It's up there on the shelf. Thanks. Anything to stop Fritz in his tracks? Um, goodbye. Talpit. Okay, we're gonna take this. It probably still has some mustard gas caked into it. Where was this when I was hunting down those gremlins? Gas mask. Good. We had a stove so nice and warm, another reason to not want to go back out there. Bring it myself from a plane. Uh, built it myself from plane parts after I was shot down here during the Great War. I said Great War, but really was mediocre at best. And this thing. No. And this thing. No. Here we go. Can I use this? Unless there's gas, I'm not putting that thing on. Maybe I can find a better use for it. And boots. The metal socket on the inside leaves no room for feet. Maybe something else would click in. Okay, let's just go here. Fats. Look here, Slim. We got us a stray zombie. Hey, yeah, stray. Fire a few rounds to chase it off and be thankful that we ain't got a horde to deal with. Hey, yeah, horde. Okay, so we're back here. Um, what should we do? Let's just go to the water tower. Scaffolding. I hope this structure is sturdy because a piece of this could prove handy. We got some scaffolding. Can we use this like in this? The scaffolding is a perfect fit. We got stilts. Can you use the stilts? Let's try this out. <laughs> That's good pipe. I guess it's for excess water to run into sewers. Tower legs. The legs of this tower look badly damaged. Uh, the pipe. Let's just go. I can get up there with the steel sound. Okay, get them. We're going to the front of the church. You can't get me all the way up here. Brains. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We got zombies. Brains, flower bed, it's always time to stop and smell, smell the roses, though I'm too far up to smell anything. Let's just get inside the broken window. The dark side goons shot out the window, giving me a handy way in. Detective McQueen. Agent Max Cream, what are you doing here? What are any of us doing anywhere? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever is trapped in the bell tower. Then figure out a plan to get to the crypt and stop that ritual. Okay, so Max Scream. I circled the wounded barking at the beast that would feast on carrion. Uh, that's still not helpful. I'm going to presume you mean I am here because other dark siders are here. Presumption is the mother of dragons. Okay, we go to the altar. Oh, we got Chief Ghouli. For some reason, he's down here. Ugh. What's going on here? Are you doing in the bright side? Me, me inwards. Are you okay? Being shot, son. Right in the gut. Uh, so it was you and Matt scream those goons were shooting at. That it were, son. Burning up from inside out. I am. Dark side bullets is not like yours. It was with the being full of crude, sad components as it were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullets? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have a look around. As you were then, son. Okay, we need like holy water. The sensor is full of old caked in, moldy smelling incense. Those candles are bigger than my head. Stained glass window. Any chance of a miracle? And the window says nothing. Okay, let's go to the bell tower. 
Get back, demon bruh. Pastor Farrell. Great, now I'm soaked. Gnarly, thought you were a hollow head. Total wipeout on my end, bruh. Do you have a towel I can borrow? The church bell is a shiny bell. Thanks, I polish it myself. Sports bag, an assortment of extreme sporting goods, from scuba tanks to hand gliders, and ultimately, face paint. Why do you have all this? Dude, I like to stream to the max, and you can't stream to the max without painting your face. But the scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. Mind if I take it? Sure, dude, enjoy. We got the scuba tank, and we can combine this with this. The mask should hold up as a replacement for breathing apparatus for a few minutes, at least. We got the scuba kit, you see? Sorry for the washout, dude. What was that about? Holocaust don't like holy water, my friend Amigo. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. Uh, can I have some holy water? Far out, dude. Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Don't say it like that. I'm way low right now. Wasted my last wiped out on you. But you can have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. Okay, we got some holy water. What else? I came to save you. Are you okay? Given the circumstances, I'm happy to be topside and now drowning in a swell of undead. We need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave on, on that, I can get myself out, dude. Uh, how will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea. Maybe you should listen to the dead? That uh, actually might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through me, Broseph. So, what's with all the sports gear? I was meant to be going on an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro. I will not make that mistake again. Goodbye. Sayonara, dude. Okay, we go down and we're gonna use this thing with the chief. Use this to wash out your wound. Much better. Frank you so. Thank you for that. Uh, feel better now? Much better. Ready to fight the forces of evil once more. I knew it was right about you. Good egg, this one. Why are you on the bright side? Interdimensional J breaks on, tracking down the perpetrators. We arrested Don Corpse on a while back, and his lot plans to escape by swapping his soul with your world's version of him, Al Capone. But he's dead, so... They is planning to resurrect him? Exactly. They all... Uh, they are all they need, just have to finish their ritual. If he gets over here, it'll be chaos for your world. It already is. The ritual has risen undead all over the city, which raises the question as to why there are so many bodies just scattered around the place. Focus, son. I am wounded and Max Cream is bound to protect me. Plus, he's nuts. Not sure he really understands what's happening. It's up to you to stop them. Okay, I just need to come up with a plan. Add a boy. Okay. Uh, maybe we go to the best tree. And here... Can... Calendar... A blocky dog's calendar. It has the core religious text from all major faiths and a note saying just in case. Yeah. Letter opener, pants, letter opener, some reading glasses with the lenses popped out. I'll take the letter opener. It's like a sword. You see? With a cross. Char. I wish I had a nice chair like this at the office. Yeah. I couldn't confiscate this for the case, could I? No. Maybe duplicate. Could I, though? No. Shredder. It's a heavy duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. Okay. But we don't have clothes to shred. Pews, pews. Altar, altar, crack window, exit. It's not safe to go back out there. My makeshift entrance. I can still hear the zombies outside. Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains. 
Sounds like they're arguing, if only I could understand them. I spoke with Gooley. Does he still fester in the pits of agony? He's recovering now. Only if you consider him getting better to be recovering. Right. Do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not at all in a way zombies? Listen closely. Sometime later. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey! Okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. Let's try this again. Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains. They seem angry and confused. Hmm. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. Okay. So, the best three... We got the shredders. I'm gonna need some clothes, you know. Can we take anything here? Let's just go over here. Can I take the sports park, man? Can you use your face paints to make me look undead? I can do that, 110 percent, bro. Percents only go up to 100... On 110, bro. 110. Fine. Okay, we look like a zombie now. Goodbye. And... My skin looked right, but my clothes don't and I still smell alive. Okay, so... The sensor. If I can find a way to scrape... Okay. So we're gonna use this thing with the sensor. If I can scrape enough of it off to rub on my coat, I could smell less alive. And done. Boy, that stinks. Okay, and the only thing we need now is like this. Sorry, coat, but I need to look more undeadish. Okay, we look undead. Hey, brains, brains, brains. Your brains, my good brains. Okay, should be able to pass at one of them now. Brains. Brains? Brains, 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 brains? Brains, brains, brains. Okay, they've agreed to unionize under my leadership. <laughs> Time to go back to talk to the people who brought them back. Okay. Good. Uh, can, can we go up the ladder? As fun as it would be to watch zombies try to climb a ladder, I'm going to give it a miss. <laughs> Mamma mia, it's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. Hey, yeah, run. Okay, good. So, Mafia car, this is totally good, solid car. Won't we'll be tied anything that this car crash into. Detective McQueen, stop right there. Too late, Brightsider, says Alexander Pope. Rawr, I live. He is no zombie. He is a human, you fools. Brains? Oh no. Destroy him. Brains. Okay, so this is how it ends. Now with a bang, but with me whimpering. I think this is about to give. Nice. Dooley did it. He saved the day. Dooley, he's trapped on the rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. You see? The priest said that holy water turned them to mush. But what if we'd find enough of it? I know. Dooley says wrong. He's semi-conscious. Why aren't they trying to eat him? Brains. Because he had no brains, you know? Okay, uh, magical paint. This must be the ritual paint taken from blanks. They use it to paint those markings and summon corpses and souls into Don's body. We got the magical paint. A ladder. I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls, but I'm glad they do. This could make a passable walk. Good. So now we use this. The hole in the floor. Good. Statue, statue of Saint Monica, patron saint of being trapped in spooky creeps with bad guys. Okay, let's just go. And now we go 
over here and we go up we're gonna use this thing here doesn't look like it's working seems to be full of rain water okay we need to go over here and check the the things give me this okay no drawers letter opener okay let's just go up dude I need you to place the water tower for me. Bro, are you for real, bro? I've got an all the undead into the sewers and need to flush them. Fast. Been waiting to be asked to church out that much good that much god juice. Like literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. What can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. He hang tight and hang often, and I want to bring the whole world out on the wave with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safely much a series, so take this live frame with you in case you get caught up in the flood. A flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. You receive item, life ring. Dude, bro, I'm gonna go do my thing, bro. May the big G be on your side. Okay. We got the life ring. It's a, it's a thing. I'm too not in water to need this. Okay. Um, just go here. No, I don't need anything here. Let's just go pews. Side. And how about we go up? Let's talk to this guy. I'm all over this, bro. Go do your thing. I'll be ready. Okay, can I use the scuba kit? No. Okay, so tower leg. Oh, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the car. They stole a good solid car. Oh, here we got something. Car keys. Those goons must have dropped these before running off. Okay, we're gonna use the car keys on the car. If I crash this into the water tower now, the zombies will be nuked, sure. But Dooley will drown. I need to make sure she got some way to breathe first. Oh. We're gonna take this and give it to Dooley. Quickly, put this on, buddy. Okay. Okay, Dooley is done. Let's just go. And you use this. Duel is ready, I'm ready. Are you ready up there, father? Kawabunga. I'll take that as a yes. Best of luck, dude. I'm off to my vacay. Whoa. That was pretty cool. The pedal locked in place. The car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. Here we go. Boom. And now he goes down. They are toast. Nice. Okay, let's enter the crib. Dooley, you okay there, buddy? Cough, cough. Feeling a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear it. Uh oh, this guy is still alive. Ah, you got Dooley. You took my minions. I'll have to create new ones. Started with your friend. Cough, cough. Hold on, Dooley. Damn it. If there only was a way I could send the dawn back to the dark side. There is, you jackass. We're gonna use this thing. In dark, nothing seems to be happening. The life ring here. I'll try something else. Not gonna save, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Dawn corpse song. Um, come on, we need to... Nothing, exit. What else do we have here? Can I use this? No. I'm not leaving duly, okay. I need to think fast. I don't have the things. Okay, can I, can I come here? Okay, there's something we are missing. Can, can we use this in the thing? I need to copy the ritual markings onto this ring to turn it into a makeshift portal. Okay, we can do this. 
Okay, so over here we need this one. Which is this one. There. And we're going to use this one. And we're going to use this one. And this. And is this one over here? This one. And this one. There it is. Portal. My improvised portal is ready for use. Have this, bro. I just need to take careful aim. No! Gone. Got him. Enjoy your exile back uh, to the dark side. You okay, dude? I'll leave, detective. Good. I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. Now then, now then, now then, now then. He was arrested for the rest of his accomplices and locked them away. Good. This uh, cooperated to reduce his uh, sentence, reverse the ritual side effect that raised the dead in your city. Should be that all the others play back to being plain all dead now. Good, because I had no idea how I was going to fix that. That was crazy dangerous magic guy. I was young and innocent. Easily misled. It happens it happened half an hour ago. I've grown a lot in at that time. New men, ready for parole, I'd say. But anyway, we owe you for this, Bright Siders. You're welcome. I say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again, eh? Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot. Hey agent. They're gone. Some time later. Dick Brickman here with Detective McKing, who just recently received a medal for stopping the riots across the city. Can you tell me, Dick Brickman, and them, viewers of Dick Brickman, what happened, Detective? There were riots across the city, and uh, now there aren't. Light on the details there, Detective. Your wife is the mayor. Is that a conflict of interest? Nope. Uh, there you have it, friends. No conflicts and no fancy and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. Okay. And over here, claims police made him do it by discovering he was hiding it in the first place. Old Don's mansion burned down. Police say no, it didn't. What? New detective survives riots on first day. Good. Which is news. Which is newsworthy, apparently. Oh, she survived. Good. A fresh face or something. Major claims she didn't run from city during riots. <laughs> she had just uh, heard a phone ringing in a nearby state. Well, it happens, you know. And Graveyard has two-for-one sale on newly available graves. What? Interesting. Proprietor of Mystic Knickknacks shop arrested while disposing of body. <laughs> yeah. Claims police made him do it by discovering he was hiding it in the first place. Yeah. We knew it. Wang, you know. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, detective. They're saying that the water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies. You know, before leaking into the reservoir, giving everybody temporary madness. It's a good explanation. At least we know what happened. You're here, detective. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. We got an achievement, dark side detective. You see, case closed. So yeah, that was, you know, Dark Side Detective. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it for now. See you next time.
On the dark roads of Montana There's a shadow in the dirt The whisper of a mountaineer In a ragged flannel shirt He walks the stony hillsides With his mandolin in hand but you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land